In this tutorial, we'll discover how easy it is to create a lyric template for use with Shout. Chiron Higo's Social Media Editor. Let's start by adding a 3D pod, and I'm going to resize it for use as a background behind the Twitter message. So simply scale it down in the Y, and then we'll scale it in the X to make it a little bit wider. Now for this, I'm going to add a ramped color to the face of the bar. So select Ramp Color as a texture. And if you create a grayscale color, it is very easy to change the overall color. So I just simply right click to the right of the color window and was able to add more color control points. So when I'm happy with this, I can just press OK. And now simply changing the diffuse color to, let's say, a blue. And bring the specular color down will give you a nice royal blue. So now let's copy and paste that pod as a second one. And resize it and move it into place to be used for the Twitter username. So again, resizing this, both the X and the Y scale. And in this one, I'm going to change the color to red, just to give it a separate color. And push it over and stack it on the right side of the bar. Now let's import an image to be used for the user's avatar. And I'll just pick the Twitter logo, and this is going to be now used as a template for the avatar. Now let's add a 3D text template and type in some text. Now this text window is justified to the left, and the M is clicked for middle, so that when you type with word wrap selected, the text will move out from the center and be, and be justified on the left. So we'll just click on the size to fit width and make sure wrap is uh, checked. Now adjust the blue bounding box out to the right to ch and uh, change the height of it so that the text will fit if two rows of text are needed for this message. Now you can see as I, as I continue typing here, the text will automatically wrap around. And you might have to just reposition a little, a little bit to keep it centered on the blue bar. Now we'll add another 3D text template. And we'll use this for the at symbol. So I'm just typing in a letter here. And I'll move it into place. Actually, I might as well change that uh, to be the at symbol, because that's going to remain constant. Now, we'll copy and paste uh, another template down and push it to the right. This is going to be used for the Twitter name. So we'll just type in uh, Twitter name here. And then again, we have to go to the 3D text uh, properties and flag it for width. And change the width. Again, move the blue bounding box out to the right. Now, in order for Shout to send the content uh, of the Twitter message to the correct elements of the lyric scene, correct names must be provided to the scene elements. Uh, the message element must be labeled as message. Um, I'm renaming the, um, the at symbol, but that is not needed or updated by Shout. The Twitter logo is being renamed to image, and the Twitter name has to be renamed username. Now let's switch over to the Shout user interface. 
Now I've added a new tab by clicking the green plus sign and now clicking the tab settings we can enter the information needed for Shout to connect to the new Lyric template we just created. We can leave most of the menu items as is but we will change a few. For instance, you might want to remove the URLs from posts. For the most part they just take up unwanted space. Now check the input menu item. This is where you can add authentication. The search items below will be used to search for, in, in this case, tweets from the word Bundesliga. And the main part of this is setting up the connection points to the lyric elements in the scene. Remember how we changed the names in Lyric to message and username. The one still needed is image, so simply click the arrow down to select image from the list. Click the playback item, make sure page is selected, and to enable playback control, click this box. The device is Lyric and click Device Manager. This is where you can add the playback devices. Click Add, Lyric or Channel Box and then the Edit button to change the settings like IP address of the playout device. Click OK and then Connect button. If everything is good, you will get a green circle beside the Name tab. If not, there is one more thing to check on the playout device. But first add in the Scene ID, select which frame buffer to use and type in message directory path of where the scene is located. If you want the messages to loop, uncheck Delete, Posts, and select Loop Playback. When you click OK, you should start to see the Twitter feeds coming in immediately. This is where you can now monitor which ones you want to put to air. Simply drag the ones into the playlist editor to the right side. Now, assuming you connected to the playout device, you will see the load and connect buttons highlighted in the upper right. If you were unable to connect, there might be one more thing to check on the playout device itself. Go to Lyric, click Config, and select Intelligent Interface. Make sure Enable Telnet is checked. And now back in Shout, click Reload and Play, and Shout will automatically start sending the Twitter information to the Lyric template we just created, and push it to the output. It really is that simple.